All right, Michael, so let's get real. Once bullying has developed from verbal stuff that you can sort of laugh and shrug off into the physical, things start to get a lot more difficult. Have you ever experienced this yourself? Yeah, I did. Um, I, I know that when I was a kid, I, I did experience a, a reasonable amount of bullying. Um, I remember one time I was in year eight and um, pretty much the year eight bully decided that he was going to pick on my best mate who happened to be really skinny, you know, not, not exactly built, you know, really skinny guy. And I remember looking at this situation and going, well, either I step in or I don't. If I don't step in, this isn't going to be good. And and so I did step in. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I must have been that tall. And I got belted. And, and probably 30 people saw me get belted by this guy. And I went home and I was a bit sore and a bit embarrassed. Um, but I knew I'd done what was right because I knew that my mate needed me to step in because... I wasn't much more built than him, but I was a bit more built than him. But I did get a lot of self-respect from that. And, you know, that was important for me in developing. I didn't even view myself as someone who had been bullied at that moment. I just viewed myself as someone who who had dealt with something. It's funny because I'd, I'd, I'd almost bypassed the whole victim mindset straight to... The veteran. That's exactly <laughs> where I was going to link that too, is that you, you're using your own experiences, even if you hadn't have had them at that stage, but you're stepping in and you're stopping that for someone else. And that, 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 that's a huge thing. I mean, that's bravery. That's courage, that, that, that's self-confidence in yourself to be able to do that for someone else. And it also shows things like empathy. Okay, so you cared enough about your friend that you weren't going to let that happen. And so you stepped in. That's action and that's responsibility. It's, it's a really positive thing. Yeah. Even though you, know, you went home with a few, a few bumps and bruises, you lost the fight, but you, know, you, you won the, the moral war. That's right. And, and you feel like a man at that moment. And it's sort of like we are not going to get on this video and endorse your son hitting people, okay? That would put us in a lot of legal trouble or whatever, but that's just not what we're here to do. Uh, I would say though, in 12 years of school teaching, I've seen a lot of kids who were sick of being bullied and they just snapped one day and they just went and belted, you know, whoever was picking on them. And I would say that in every one of those cases I've seen, that the bullying stopped instantly. Now, I'm not telling you to say that to your son, I'll let you work out what's an appropriate discussion for you to have with your son about that. Um, and I'm not going to be held responsible for any of those conversations. But, but I mean, there's more than one way of dealing with things. And, and, and I just encourage you to be real with your son in those conversations.